I'm Brenda with Breeze Massage and Body Work. Today I'd like to give you a demonstration of the fascial system of the body, how it works using a combination of cornstarch and water. And this dish contains a mixture of cornstarch and water. As you know, cornstarch is a thickening agent. And so this is how I'm getting it to basically mimic how the fascia in the body should be moving. The fascia is the connective tissue in the body holding everything together. And it should be fluid like this if we're hydrated and should move easily. A lot of massage and body work is done much quicker and that does not work with fascia. If you try to move quickly, you'll see that it bunches up and breaks up. It just doesn't want to move fluidly. And so when you do myofascial release, which is loosening up any restrictions that you might find in the fascia, it is a slow process. We have to wait for it to work. Now I have a balloon that has been filled with a mixture of cornstarch and water. And so if this were a, a part of our body and the cornstarch and water that's inside would represent the fascia of our body, I want to show you that if you try to work it fast, it just doesn't move easily. Like I'm trying to stretch it here. Oh, I'm working hard, pulling hard. It doesn't want to do anything, and it's going to go right back to its original shape. As I mentioned earlier, myofascial release is a slow process. I'm also going to bring a ruler in here so that you can basically see the size of the balloon right now. It's right around three inches in length. And as I do some myofascial release on it, and of course it's not exactly the same as it would be on a human body, um, I'm going to let you see how that stretches out and it will hold longer. So I'm going to stand up here. Now I want you to know I'm not using a lot of pressure here. This is called a cross hand technique. And even though I'm pushing down just a little bit, I am pushing out more and this is a very slow process as I said before and I forgot to put my timer up here I want to show you how long it takes to do this so there is a timer and I promise I won't make you watch this for a long long time you will cut out and come back in in a little while but all I'm going to do is sustain this hold by engaging the fascia by pushing down just a little bit and then stretching it out. And we'll come back in a few minutes and see how long our balloon is. All right, we're back now. As you can see, this balloon has broadened and lengthened. And when we bring our ruler in again, you can see that it's a good three and a half inches in length and as I said it's also broadened. To show you a different technique than the cross-handed technique where I was lengthening the fibers of the fascia, sometimes they need to be shortened so they're going to be compressed. So I'm going to hold this gently and compress in rather than stretching out. And you'll notice that the balloon will begin to reshape and instead of being so broad, it will get narrower. Again, I'm going to wait for a while while doing this, and we'll come back and check in in a little bit. All right, we are back, and I want you see that it is now thinned out again and elongated more by using the compression as opposed to the cross-handed technique decompressing the tissue. So it is very important that the fascia in our bodies is loose. We do not want to have restrictions that keep us from different movements. And so I would recommend that you try myofascial release if you are experiencing stress, tension, and pain, and see what that will do for you. It's a wonderful technique, a gentle technique, and it will do wonders for you.